Hello my dear friends this is Sushil lecture in physics this time coming up with a special video this video is going to help all the class 10 students why because i know that covid-19 had created a lot of disturbance in our life the offline classes then coming back to online classes the concepts just going like a bouncer above my head not understanding things but do not worry about it this time I am going to make a beautiful video which is going to help you out to understand on what concepts I need to focus to give my best. See my dear students, I can just help you to understand things but ultimately it's your efforts which is going to give you the result. We have still two months in hand. Please remember 60 days can create, can seriously create magic. Please understand. The game is not yet over. The game has just started. I still have chance to do my best. So I am going to help you out to give your best. So just listen to this video. Please watch the video till the end. Please subscribe the channel in case if you haven't subscribed. Please like the video and please share it with your friends because this video is going to help many for sure. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Hello, my dear students. So. As I said, I am going to help you out to do your best, to give your best. So this video is specially for all the CBSE students. It is basically based on their pattern, but it is also helpful for all the other state board syllabus students who are going to appear your 10 standard board exams. Why? Because the questions what I'm going to discuss, the points what I'm going to say right now is very, very important. So first, let's understand the CBSC question paper pattern for this year. So guys, the pattern of the CBSC class 10 science question paper 2021 will be different than the previous one. Now, how is it different? Let's understand. There'll be 36 questions in the paper. So my dear students, please understand this year's CBSE questions you will be attempting is nothing but number of questions will be nothing but 36 questions instead of 30 questions compared to last year. The next point, all the questions will be divided into four sections, A, B, C, and D. Section A will have one to 20 objective type questions. It can be of multiple choice. It can be short answer. It can be assertion and reason type questions. Please remember guys, section A all the questions will be nothing but just one mark. So section A will consist of one mark. But last year's question paper, if you have seen my dear students, you will see that there are one to 14 questions. There were 14 questions and they were all objective type. But this time, please be careful. This thing is very, very important. The assertion and reason type questions are very tricky and very good questions. The level of questions are very nice. So be careful. The next one. Section B. So section B consists of questions. We'll have six questions. Basically, there'll be six questions. So very short type answers, basically carrying two marks. So these things are very, very important for me. Okay. Last year, there were no two mark questions asked. But this year, we will have six questions of two marks. Next, let's move to section C. So section C will have how many questions? There'll be seven questions in section C, my dear students. Okay, and these will be of how many marks? So three marks. So be careful, three marks. Yeah. Okay, and last year there were only 10 questions, but this year we are having only seven questions. Moving ahead, section D. So section D, there will be three questions. Yes, this is what I believe it is a bonus questions. Why? Because these questions are all of five marks. So my dear students, be very smart enough. Be careful when you're going to answer these questions because these questions consist of five marks. Yeah, I hope everything is clear here. Last year, the number of questions were six, but this year we are just having three questions. So I hope we are clear with the paper pattern, the question paper pattern, what I'm going to attempt this year because this is very, very important that I know what is going to be asked in my question paper or how my question paper will look like. Yes. So be careful, my dear students. 
very very important is there will be no overall choice please understand so there will be no overall choice but there will be choice within the question itself so as you can see that there will be internal choice okay approximately 33% would be provided in the in the paper okay so be careful with this too now my dear students uh, moving ahead why i am doing this video is nothing but today i'm going to discuss a very important topic that is nothing but uh, magnetic effect of electric current so my dear students this chapter as i know when i was a student i do remember that this topic was little difficult for me also when i was a student but now this is seriously simple and the questions what i'm going to discuss with you guys are really very very important so as you can see magnetic effect of electric current important questions expected for cbse board exams so this year maybe few questions what we are going to discuss might appear or maybe the concept what we are going to discuss will surely come into the paper my dear students very important thing to note what i am going to say right now is please remember from this chapter maybe a minimum of 2 marks and a max maximum of up to 8 marks can be asked so guys this chapter is important please understand okay a minimum of 2 marks and a maximum of 8 marks can be asked from this chapter so be careful so let's see what are the questions important in this topic so let's move ahead so guys before moving ahead let me understand what are the syllabus what is the syllabus for this year's you know magnetic effect, effects of electric current so on what topic i need to really concentrate so my dear students the first important concept is nothing but the magnetic field lines guys very very important the question like mention the properties of magnetic field okay and magnetic field li magnetic field lines the definition of magnetic field okay these are very very important co concepts field due to a current carrying conductor trust me this is very very important okay current carrying conductor you know the straight wire so how is the magnetic field lines they are nothing but concentric circles that's very very important field due to a solenoid or a current carrying coil very very important again the solenoid concept the magnetic field lines the diagram of a solenoid fleming's left hand rule fleming's right hand rule the electric motor the electromagnet in magnetic induction concept the electromagnets fleming's right hand rule the thumb rule maxwell's thumb rule these are very very important my dear students i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say yes so please understand your syllabus please understand your syllabus get to know what you need to focus on let's not waste time uh, and waste our energies for something which is unwanted so let's move ahead so guys this is the first question which i am going to discuss in the arrangement shown in figure there are two coils wound on a non conducting cylinder okay cylindrical rod initially the key is not inserted in the circuit later the key is inserted and then removed shortly after what are the two observations that can be noted from the galvanometer reading so my dear students so if you see this is how the concept is yeah so i have a galvanometer okay i have a galvanometer here connected there are two coils if you see my dear students this is the concept based on the ways to induce current yes so now let's think what happens that in the arrangement shown in the figure there are two coils wound on a non conducting cylindrical rod initially the key is not inserted in the circuit later the key is inserted then removed shortly so what are the two observations will you see so when i insert the key what will happen the circuit is complete so can i say that there will be current flowing and because of which there will be magnetic field and there will be deflection seen yes or no and when i remove the key also i'll have a slight deflection in the opposite direction yes or no but gradually it comes back to zero am i right so let's see what is the solution over here so there are momentary galvanometer deflections that die out shortly and the important things are the deflections are in the opposite direction too so in the figure the two coils are not electrically connected to each other because 
they are wound on a non-conducting rod. Say coil one is connected across battery through a key. So I take this as coil one and this I take it as coil two. Yes, the coil is called primary coil and coil two is called as the secondary coil. Yes. Next, what happens here? When the key is pressed, it is observed that the galvanometer will show a small deflection and then it returns to zero, yes or no. When the key is released, the galvanometer again shows a momentary deflection, but in which direction? In the opposite direction. Yeah. So guys, this is a pure concept of ways to induce current in a circuit. So please go through that concept. Please focus on it and learn this. This is very, very important question. Yeah, get it. Understand this concept here. Yeah. Very, very important. So let's move ahead to the next question. Meanwhile, you can take a minute to glance through it and understand this concept. So yes, let's move ahead. So what is that? Yes, this is a very, very important question, my dear students. Draw the magnetic field lines around a, around a straight, carrying, straight current carrying conductor. So I guess I can get this answer. It is nothing but the concentric circles. My dear students, please understand why is the magnetic field in this direction? Please understand the concept. Why is the magnetic field lines in this concept? If I use Maxwell's right hand thumb rule, the thumb gives the direction of current. So this is the direction of the current and the fingers curl okay, or the curled finger gives me the direction of the magnetic field lines. Okay, I hope, I hope you guys are understanding the concept. In case the concept is not clear, let me help you out. So please understand, say that this is the thumb Okay, and this is my fingers. Okay, so understand the concept. The thumb gives the direction of the current and the curled finger gives the direction of the magnetic field lines. So if you observe this diagram, just try to hold a current carrying conductor in your hand. So your thumb gives the direction of the current and the curled fingers around this gives the direction of the magnetic field line. So you'll see that here it is going inwards and from here it's coming outward. I hope the concept is clear. Now let's Try one more thing. Try to hold a current carrying conductor where your thumb is now held in this direction and the fingers are like this. Yes or no? Why? Because the direction of current is in the down, downward direction. Now can I say that? Now can I say that? The direction will be opposite? Yes or no? So here it is going inward and here now it is outward. So can I say that here the magnetic field lines in, this, in the clockwise direction and here it is in the anti-clockwise direction, yes or no? So my dear students, this is very, very important question. Very, very important. So please make a note of it, okay? Pretty sure that this can be asked, okay? So we'll give you again two minutes so to glance through it. Quickly draw the diagram because this is seriously very, very important. So let's move ahead. The next question, yes, this is very, very important. As I said, reasoning and assertion questions do play an important role in this year's paper. So you need to need to really focus, need to really understand the basics. See, my dear students, one thing I want to tell you all that physics is not important, uh, not difficult. Physics is not at all difficult. So please get the concept. If you understand things, if you understand things, you can really solve all these questions here. So let's let's go through this. Let's go through this. So the question says, read the following answer, okay? And you need to answer any four questions out of five. So you have an internal choice here. A solenoid is given there is a long helical coil of wire through which a current is running in the order to create magnetic field. So they're talking about solenoid. 
the magnetic field of the solenoid is the superposition of the fields due to the current through each of the coil. Yeah, it is nearly uniform inside the coil and close to zero outside. Okay, the magnetic field produced in the solenoid depends on few factors such as current. Okay, important things to understand. The following graph is obtained by the researcher while doing the experiment. The magnetic field. Okay, okay, okay. So all these are given. So you can glance through it. So we can read it and understand what they have given there. Okay, so I'll give you one minute to read this question. So let's see what is the graph given. So you have the graph here. So let's move ahead and understand, yes. So guys, the first question says, what type of energy is converted in a linear solenoid? Guys, what does a solenoid do? Let's think on that. Can I say that solenoid converts electrical energy to a magnetic energy, yes or no? Yes, so can I say option B is the right answer? My dear students, please understand, I'm not discussing your question and answer. I'm trying to make you understand that the concept solenoid is very, very important. So please get that things. What will happen if a soft iron bar is placed inside a solenoid? What will happen when a soft iron bar is placed inside a solenoid? Can I say that it becomes, what it becomes? It becomes electromagnet, yes or no? Yeah, it becomes like an electromagnet. So the bar will be electrode resulting short circuit. The bar will be magnetized as long as the current is there. Yes or no? Yes, that's the right answer. Let's move ahead. The magnetic field lines produced inside the solenoid are same as a bar magnet because there is a concept it says in NCRT that a solenoid behaves like a bar magnet. Important concept that is again. The graph, yeah, from the graph, what do we understand? Can I say that from the graph when I see, okay, for 0 0.8 it is 12 or 13, yes, 0 0.8 it is 13. So I can go with 0 0.8, the magnetic field is... 13 for a current of 0 0.8 the magnetic field is nothing but 13 so can i say it is option a super okay now i need to analyze the graph of the student and what can i say that magnetic field of a solenoid is inversely proportional directly proportional yes or no because they have told me in the uh, in the concept there that the magnetic field depends on current yeah yes or no my dear students please get that concept yes so can I say that, which is the right answer? Can I say it's only D? Yes. So let's quickly see the answers. So electrical to magnetic, the bar will be magnetized. Okay. So a bar magnet, only second. And yes, for 0 0.8, it is 13 mega, uh, milli Tesla. Okay. So let's move ahead. Okay. So again, a beautiful question. Okay. So guys, please understand what I want to say here. Uh, the chapter has so many important things here. Uh, the chapter, you need to talk about magnetic field, magnetic field lines, current carrying through a conductor. So now this question is based on current carrying through a conductor. So you can see that PQ is a current carrying conductor as shown in the figure. Okay, so you can see here, find the direction of the magnetic field produced at point R and S. Now, my dear students, how is the magnetic field? So you can see that now for a straight conductor, the magnetic field lines are nothing but concentric circles. Am I right? And you can see that the current is going the upward direction. So it means it is anti-clockwise. So can I say that for R, for R, can I say it is inside and for S it is outwards? Yes or no, my dear students, please understand this concept. Am I right? So that's the answer here. The second one, given R1 is greater than R2. My dear students, there is an important concept related to the current carrying conductor. It says that the magnetic field is directly proportional to current and the magnetic field is inversely proportional to distance. So as the distance increases, what will happen to the magnetic field? The magnetic field will decrease. So can I say that if R1 is greater than R2, if R1 is greater than R2, so can I say that the magnetic field of B2 will be greater than B1? Yes or no? So what is B2 and B1? 
So what is B2 and B1? So can I say that S will have greater magnetic field? The reason is what? The distance is, the distance is less. Yes or no? So less the distance, more is the magnetic field. The inversely proportional concept. Next, if the polarity. Now guys, what is polarity? Polarity is nothing but the change in the sign. Positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive. So when the polarity is reversed, how would be the direction of the magnetic field lines? It means the current is now flowing in the opposite direction. So the current will start flowing in the opposite direction. So can I say that that time it will be nothing but clockwise? We have already studied in the previous question. Yes or no? So it will be nothing but clockwise. Am I right, my dear students? Please understand. Again, I'm saying you, I'm not explaining you these questions. I'm just making you clear with the concepts. Next one, explain the rule that is used to find the direction of the magnetic field. Of course, the rule is nothing but Maxwell's right hand thumb rule. Yeah, so Maxwell's right hand thumb rule. So let's move ahead and check out. Yes, so what are the answers? As I think you can just go through the answer. Okay, so please understand the concept of current through a straight conductor is seriously very, very important. Let's move ahead next. Draw the pattern of magnetic field lines produced due to, due to a current carrying a conductor passing perpendicularly and straight right hand thumb rule. How will the strength of the magnetic field change when the point where the magnetic field is to be moved? Yes, see, as I said, it is inversely proportional to distance. Keep that in mind. So Maxwell's right hand thumb rule, I have already spoken about it. The thumb gives the direction of current and the curled finger gives the direction of the magnetic field lines. Yeah, so that's very important. As I said, it is inversely proportional. So you can see that the concept is over here. It is inversely proportional to distance. Very, very important. And this is the diagram which is given in NCRT. Please pay attention. Very, very important diagram this is. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Mention the angle between a current carrying conductor and the magnetic field for which the force experienced by this current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field is largest. My dear students, this concept you will come across when you're studying electric motor. You will see that in electric motor, the face of the rectangular coil, that is say that I take it as A, B, C, D, the face B, C, the face B, C and C, D doesn't experience any force. Why? Because they are parallel to the magnetic field lines. The face A, B and C, D will experience a force because they are perpendicular. So can I say my answer will be nothing but 90 degree? That's it. So learn the chapter carefully, understand the concepts and play with the concepts. And I'm pretty sure you will score full marks. Let's move ahead. List the properties of magnetic field lines. So what are the properties of magnetic field lines? What are the properties of magnetic field lines? Yes. I can hear those answers or I can see those answers in the comment box. So magnetic field lines, they move from north to south. Yes or no? Two field lines never intersect. Am I right? Yes, they are closed and continuous curves. Yes or no? Yeah, and the tangent drawn to any line gives me the direction of the magnetic field line. So my dear students, this is again a very, very important question. A very important question. So let's move ahead. Again, Shruti draws a magnetic field lines close to the axis of a current carrying circular loop. As she moves away from the center of the loop, she observes that the field lines keep on diverging. Explain the reason for her observation. So my dear students, the pattern of the magnetic field due to a current carrying circular loop is nothing but circles near the top. Okay, please understand on the top and the bottom, they are concentric circles. At the center of the circular loop, the magnetic field lines are straight. Therefore, on moving away from the center of the circular loop, the magnetic field lines keeps on diverging. And this is the diagram. Again, a very, very important. This is a very, very important diagram and again, an important concept and again, an important question. That is the magnetic field lines for the circular loop. So let's move ahead. Mention the direction of magnetic field lines inside a bar magnet. So inside the bar magnet, it is south to north. And outside the bar magnet, it is from north to south. Yes. 
explain the effect of magnetic field produced at a point in a current carrying circular coil due to see there are a few things which you need to understand now we are focusing on so at the end of this video i will give you a summary where the things will be crystal clear so increase the amount of current flow what will happen the magnetic field also increases yes or no increasing the distance the magnetic field decreases yes or no increasing the number of turns on the coil the magnetic field increases because magnetic field is directly proportional to i it is also directly proportional to n directly proportional to the number of turns but what happens it is inversely proportional to the distance okay so you can see directly directly those important words are very very important to us so my dear students i hope you are getting those concepts let's move ahead draw the patterns of the magnetic field lines around a current carrying straight conductor we have already studied what happens when the distance increases the magnetic field line decreases increase in the current the magnetic field increases that's it so this diagram is again very very important so you can see that it is inversely proportional and here it is directly proportional draw the pattern of the magnetic field lines due to a current carrying coil and a solenoid very very important my dear students very important concept so you can see now the diagram very very important diagram and this is for the solenoid my dear students so that's for the current flowing through a circular coil and the other one is nothing but the solenoid so again a important question a coil of insulator wire is connected to a galvanometer what will be seen if a bar magnet is with a with its south pole towards one face of the coil is moved quickly moved quickly away from it placed near one face okay and what happens if it is used with north pole what will be the observation so let's see so you can see that a coil of insulated wire is connected to a galvanometer if a bar magnet with south pole is pushed towards one face of the coil is moved quickly the galvanometer deflects towards the left when i do with the south pole it goes towards the right when you move it away it goes in the opposite direction that is to the right and in this case it becomes left when you place it near and without having any motion then it will be zero see it's a back it's a magnet and a coil experiment i hope you remember so this motion of the magnet will produce current in it that's called as induced current and that phenomena is called as electromagnetic induction my dear students the next one if the magnet is held stationary the answer is zero name the phenomena in uh, phenomenon involved as i said it is electromagnetic induction yes or no and which concept determines this it's nothing but fleming's right hand rule why because my dear students please understand fleming's right hand says mbi that's nothing but motion magnetic field and induced current whereas fleming's left hand rule says fbi that's nothing but force magnetic field and current so this is nothing but induced current and the induced current is given by fleming's right hand rule so which is very 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 important my dear students okay so with this we are done with the practice session we are clear what are the things which is important and which is going to come sure so please focus on this please concentrate and please practice thank you so my dear students i'm sure that the video is surely going to help a lot many kids so students please understand one small overall summary of the chapter please focus on what is magnetic field magnetic field lines the next important question is current due to a straight conductor the concept there is very very important that how is the magnetic field lines because of a current passing through a straight conductor you need to know that it is concentric circles magnetic field line is directly proportional to current and it is inversely proportional to the distance very very important the diagram of the circular loop the magnetic field through a circular loop is very very important again then comes the properties of the magnetic field lines very important question moving ahead you we have the concept of electromagnets electromagnetic induction solenoid very very important and then comes the motor that is electric motor i have not seen questions related to electric motor in the papers but please it is important what is electric motor the principle the construction the uses and the working is very very important 
and then comes the last concept that is the ways to induce current that's very important my dear students please go through that concept also fleming's right hand rule left hand rule and then maxwell's thumb rule plays a very important so overall if you ask me around 2 to 8 marks can be predicted from this chapter in the board exams that is 2021 and i'm sure if you focus on the chapters which i am going to say focus on the concept what i am going to tell you trust me physics is going to be simple again i'm saying you it's all your efforts and the magic you will see in the paper but i am here to help you to guide you to make you understand that way you need to put your efforts how you can put your efforts so please focus on the concepts what i am telling it to you because i'm sure these are the things what they are going to ask you so please take care stay safe stay happy and study well all the best please like the channel please subscribe it and share this video thank you and uh, my dear students end of this uh, video on my description i'll be attaching a pdf the pdf consists of questions and answers related to the concept what i was talking so please download that file please make use of that file and practice magnetic effect of electric current and master yourself in the topic so download it from the description take care enjoy